So learning how to hover is quite a disconcerting thing because you have to get a really good feel for the stall point of your glider. And then there's lots of little different things that you have to do. So the flapping disturbs lift in the paraglider. Basically separates the airflow from the cloth and you lose lift. So if I flap the glider, it will try and kill off some of the excess lift to make me sink down. If I just hold brakes, I can slow below the speed of the air and actually fly backwards. And then you just have to control the lift to hover. And bingo. But you do not want to do that at any altitude you are not willing to fall from because when you first try and learn it, you very well could stall your glider. This is another reason it's absolutely critical to take super training so that we put you on the right gear because the Dominator is extremely forgiving of stall. You can feel it coming a mile away and if you stall it and feel that and put your hands up at any point, you can save it. A lot of gliders, if you hit that stall point, it creeps up quickly and then slam, the glider just falls out of the sky very violently and does not want to recover well. The Dominator is very, very forgiving. So the wing that you do it on is also very critical. I learned on some pretty sketchy gliders and uh, had some not so fun pounds into the ground from several feet up. So hovering and then just slamming into the ground when the glider inadvertently stalled without much warning to it. So lots of pieces to it. Because the biggest part of paragliding doesn't start with advanced techniques like that. It starts with super training and just mastering glider control. If you go through super training, you will have stalled your glider thousands and thousands and thousands of times while kiting for upwards of 60, 70, 80 hours on the beach. That way you learn that feel of where that stall point is and how to recover it if you do stall it. And so it's critical to have that feel and the skill and that control before you go doing something like uh, trying to fly straight down in a lift band and top land. So each piece is a stepping stone. Super training is step number one. Doesn't really matter where you learned. It's absolutely critical to completely master glider control. Living the dream, baby. Let's try and land here. Boom. I love this glider, it's awesome. Our trip here in Thailand is just about done because I gotta go back to America and do super training and train you how to fly now and then I'm off to go play and go flying. I'm floating. <laughs> <laughs>